This is a tutorial on creating a quadratic model. Creating a quadratic model is basically the opposite of using a quadratic equation to graph or solve for values of that equation. Instead we're going to be given graphs and points or solutions and we're going to create our quadratic equation. Here we're given the graph of a parabola and we're given its vertex and one other point on the graph. So if I want to create a quadratic equation that describes this parabola, the easiest way to do it would be use vertex form. And we're going to use vertex form because we're given the vertex. Now remember, vertex form looks like y is equal to a times x minus h squared plus k. And this means our vertex has the coordinates hk. Well here's my vertex at negative 1, 9 and that means my h is negative 1 and my k is 9. So if I plug those in I'm going to get y is equal to a times x minus a minus 1 squared plus 9. Now minus a minus 1 is just plus so we'll have y is equal to a times x plus 1 squared plus 9. Now we're almost done. We still have this a here that we need to find. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this other value that's on our line and we're going to plug that in for x and y. So if I do that my y is 8 so we'll have 8 is equal to a times my x is 0 so 0 plus 1 squared plus 9. Now 0 plus 1 is just 1, so we'll have 8 is equal to a times 1 squared plus 9. 1 squared is 1, so this will be 8 is equal to a plus 9. Subtract 9 from both sides, and you'll get a is equal to negative 1. So if we go and plug that back in, we get y is equal to negative 1 times x plus 1 squared plus 9. So this is the equation that describes this graph. Here we have another graph of a parabola, but we're not given the vertex. Instead we're given the two x-intercepts and then one other point on the line. So since we're given the two x-intercepts, the easiest way to come up with our quadratic equation that describes this line would be to use intercept form. Intercept form looks like y is equal to a times x minus p times x minus q, where p and q are our x-intercepts. So if we have the x-intercept of negative 1 and 4, I can plug negative 1 in for p and 4 in for q. So if I do that, I have y is equal to a times x minus a minus 1 times x minus 4. Well, x minus a minus 1 is just plus, so this is y is equal to a times x plus 1 times x minus 4. Now again we still have this a, so we're going to use the other point that we're given, plug that in for x and y, and then we'll solve for a. So our y is 4, we have an a, our x is a negative 0.5, so we have negative 0 0.5 plus 1 times negative 0 0.5 minus 4. So if we simplify that, we have 4 is equal to a times, now negative 0 0.5 plus 1 is a positive 0 0.5. And negative 0 0.5 minus 4 would be a negative 4.5. If I multiply negative 4.5 and 0 0.5, I get a negative 2.25 this is equal to 4 and still multiply times a. Next I'm going to divide both sides by negative 2.25. 
and we're going to get a is equal to a negative 16 ninths or a negative 1.77 repeating. So if we plug that back in, we're going to get y is equal to a negative 16 ninths times x plus 1 times x minus 4. And this is the equation for our parabola in intercept form. Now lastly, what if we're not given a graph? We're just given several points. Well, we can use these points to write a quadratic equation in standard form. Now we're going to need at least three points to do this. But remember that standard form is y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. So what we're going to do is we're going to plug each one of these in individually in for x and y. So our first one, our y is 4. That's equal to a times 4 squared plus b times 4 and then plus c because our x is 4. So I have one equation here that's 4 squared is 16 so we have 16a plus 4b plus c is equal to 4. Next we'll plug in 2 and 6. Our y is 6. That's equal to a times 2 for x and that's squared plus b times 2 plus c. 2 squared is 4 so my next equation is 4a plus 2b plus c is equal to 6. And then if I plug in my last point 0 negative 2 my y is negative 2. I end up with a times 0 squared plus b times 0 plus c. 0 squared is 0 and times a is still 0. 0 times b will be 0. So we end up with c is equal to negative 2. So my last equation is c is equal to negative 2. Here I have three equations and three unknowns a, b, and c. And I can solve these using substitution or elimination and solve for my a, b, and c. Well, our last equation helps us out a lot. It reduces down to c is equal to negative 2. Since I know that c is equal to negative 2, I can plug that back into these other two equations here. So if I do that, I'll get 16a plus 4b minus 2 is equal to 4 because I'm just plugging in negative 2 for C. If I add 2 to both sides I'll get 16A plus 4B is equal to 6. Now if I plug in negative 2 for our next equation we'll have 4A plus 2B minus 2 is equal to 6 if I add 2 to both sides. I'll have 4A plus 2B is equal to 8 so now that I have these two equations, 16a plus 4b is equal to 6 and 4a plus 2b is equal to 8, I'm going to use elimination. I'm going to multiply this last equation by negative 2. So we'll have 16a plus 4b is equal to 6 and negative 8a minus 4b is equal to negative 16. Now if I add these two equations, 16a and 8a, or negative 8a, will give us an 8a. Plus 4b and minus 4b is a 0b. And 6 plus a negative 16 is a negative 10. So I have an 8a is equal to negative 10. So if 8a is equal to negative 10, I can divide both sides by 8 and I'll get a is equal to a negative 5 fourths. So I have my a and I have my c. I can plug in negative 5 fourths for a into either one of these two equations. I'm going to plug it into the second one. So we'll have 4 times negative 5 fourths plus 2b is equal to 8. Well, 4 times negative 5 fourths is just negative 5. And then plus 2b is equal to 8. 
Add 5 to both sides. We'll get 2B is equal to 13. Divide by 2 on both sides. And B is equal to 13 halves. So now that I have my A, B, and C, I can plug those back into this standard equation here. And we'll have Y is equal to a negative 5 fourths X squared plus 13 halves X minus 2. And this is the quadratic equation that describes these three points. And that completes the tutorial on creating quadratic models.